Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. Well, yeah. So, you probably already noticed that we've got some changes that have happened here. This is actually, I think it's at least my fifth attempt at recording this episode. So you'll forgive me if I run through this pretty quick. I'm going to have to just show you what it, what's happened in my other attempts because, wow, I've had everything from recording problems to game crashing problems and various different recording problems, everything from poor quality to not having my microphone recorded. And then in the last attempt, number four, I think, um, I got my my mic recording, but the game sounds were missing. It is just, yeah, I think everything is actually working now, though. So, if it is, you'll actually be seeing this. I'm posting this on Monday, and uh, for those that like to watch it on the day it comes out, then happy Monday. So glad all the problems are over with. For the rest of you, then you don't care what day it came out on. But anyway, let me show you what I've done. So I put in some lights. I colored things. I um, I put in some computers. This one's running Tim over here. Uh, currently, it's... Uh, no, it actually is running. Um, it kind of just depends on which one boots up first when I start the world. But uh, there's three Tims running in this grid. And... Apparently, this one here is the master right now. The other two are standing by just in case this one becomes unavailable in such a situation as, oh, say, we disconnect from the base, which we will eventually do. I've got screens running off of uh, M Master's automatic LCDs, automatic configurable LCDs, and that's running off this screen here. And uh, that's just a spare timer. We'll need it eventually. That's our one second timer over there. And uh, we've got some statuses. So the hydrogen status, how much ice we've got. Um, oh, okay. Uh, any damage will show up on that other screen. We've got uh, power and uranium and that kind of thing. I'm not going to get into the details of all those things. I also put in buttons for our piston system. And during one of the tests, I ended up breaking off one of the drills. And I think we might actually try and fix that today. We'll see. Uh, I ran it too fast. It was That was just entirely my own fault. I uh, was in a hurry. So these buttons here, let me show you what they do. Uh, this one's spotlights. I've got spotlights all the way around. Makes it nice and easy to see. Uh, this one here turns on and off the drills. Uh, these are for the three different levels of pistons, and this is a kind of a emergency shutdown. It, it'll turn off all the pistons, and they'll stay right where they are. That was handy. Um, so, and then these are for the landing gear. Anyway, so that's all set up and ready to go. Uh, also, a new version of the game came out with a couple of new features, and... For example, we can now hide inventories. So if I were to go into here, go to control panel and drills, we can actually, um, I've already turned them off. So show block and inventory screen is turned off, which means that when we, oh, and drill 19 apparently is still, it's interesting, 19. We have two drill 19s. Um, that's interesting. It's this drill 19. Both of the drills have show block and inventory off. But when you come here, it's on. Well, there might be still some bugs. Let's try this. Sorry, inventory on, off. It's still there. Oh, of course, I'm sorry. This is drill 19. And when you go directly into an inventory, it will always show, even if it's set to be hidden. But it's nice because if we've got a whole bunch of things like the hydrogen tanks, these do not need to be shown in the inventory screen because we never put anything in the hydrogen tanks. So now we don't have to see the hydrogen tanks anymore. 
really declutters the inventory. You know, connectors are another thing that we might want to turn off at some times. Anyway, so you can see I kind of did some damage here. This isn't, I, unfortunately, I can't just stick, you know, another conveyor there and another drill there because these are now separate grids. So I have to reconnect the grids and it shouldn't be too big of a deal, I think. Let's just give that a try real quick. Uh, let's see, I think... Let me think about this. If I put a... Hmm. Yeah, it's not... Unfortunately, it's not going to be as simple as just placing a merge block there and a merge block here because I then need to remove the merge block. Um, so what I need to do is take out... Oh, stupid moon gravity. All right. I need to actually remove all of the blocks around this. I think I'm going to have to remove one of them drills as well. Because what I need to do is have a block on here that will stay. So that would be our conveyor. Let's uh, stick a conveyor on there. Which, of course, I don't have the parts for. It's okay. That's why we have things over here. Uh, mainly just want to get that thing started. Yeah, so in theory I can put that there. And then I would need to put a merge block, for example, here. Yeah, so I need to remove one of these drills. Luckily there wasn't anything in that, now that I think about it. That could have been bad. So if I put a merge block... go. If I do this, uh, where are the merge blocks? I guess I don't have them already set up. So do this, put that there, and then I think we can get away with putting that there. And because merge blocks occasionally have some pretty awful side effects, we're going to quick save. And then, yeah, it's not going to let me just stick that there, is it? Oh, wait. It might. Yeah, it, it might if I do it this way. No? Oh. I wonder if I'm going to have to get rid of this one. Might be. Let's see. No. Well, the other thing I can do is, let's see. If I extend the rest of the pistons and then be nice if I could retract that up. Hmm. If I push, let's see, if I push all the pistons except for that one down, or actually, you know what, I know what I'll do. I know exactly what I'll do. I also have this controller up here, but I put this one in a long time ago. So the pistons lower. Yeah. And then... This piston here, we can reverse, pull it back up again. Then I should be able to put this on there. Ooh, somehow I had all the parts for a merge block? How the heck did I have all the parts for a merge block? Oh, because I removed the drill. That's right. All right, so now, oh, <laughs> okay, can we please reverse you? Thank you. Now, this is when things could go horribly wrong, which is why I auto-saved, or quick-saved. 
because there's a decent chance that this whole thing will shake apart and explode. Ooh. Not too bad. Not too bad. Explosions? Well, it threw me. There was some damage. Ah, broke the other side. Oh, well, that was too bad. Hmm. Okay, well, I know how to do that safer. I'm going to reload. Because, um, I, like I said, I was predicting that that was going to happen. And as far as I'm concerned, that's not intended behavior. Well, you know what? There's another way I can do that. I, you guys have seen enough merge block activity. We're not gonna we're not gonna waste any time on merge block activity. I think what we need to do is start working on some other stuff. So one of the things that I need to make sure I have is turrets. Because one of the things I am going to be doing when I leave the planet is turning on all the hazards. I'm going to turn on meteors. I'm going to turn on uh, pirates, spiders, dogs, everything. And that means turrets. We need lots and lots of turrets. So what I was thinking is, if I'm not mistaken... Oops. No, not there. Here? Hmm. Here? Uh, oh, I was off by one. Okay, it's right here. Okay. So we've got connectors kind of all over the place. It wouldn't be hard. That'd be really ugly if I put it there. Because I'd have to put a either a pipe or a conveyor, and then it would kind of break the... I was hoping it was going to be farther back. Well, there's this one. Hang on. This one. Hmm. That's a good spot. Okay, so let's let's put uh, let me grab my color back here and put these back. Hey now, put that back, and then I think we're gonna need a couple of pipes. Should do it. Yeah, a couple of pipes should do it. That and that. And I'm going to need some motors. Let me grab those really quick. I'm not even going to bother with a welder. This is going to go really fast. Uh, let's see. There. Yeah. And yes, I know the one down there isn't done. I'm going to get that in a second. And then I think somewhere around here I have... Yeah, I've got an empty bar here. This is my... Uh, um, this is my kind of weaponry one here. I'm going to do a Gatling turret. And, yeah. We'll see how much of this I can weld up. Yeah, I'm going to need the welder for that. Okay. There we go. And you can see that other pipe is in there. I can just crawl in there and get to it. It's one of the reasons I left that fairly hollow. There we go. Now, I have absolutely no ammo on this base. Like, I've, I've that's the first anything. See that? Like, just a split second, and it tried to kill me. All right. Um, this is literally the first weaponry I have made in this game at all. So, I have absolutely no ammo. Let's see, I think I can get in this side. Yeah. I think I've got everything I need. No, no construction components. Okay. Meh. How do I get in there? Oh, this will work. See the welders. I need to hide the welders. Welders, not on the inventory screen. And the cockpit doesn't need to be on the inventory screen. Also, don't need that. Okay, cockpit, no inventory. See, it's so much easier to find things when you can turn things off. And I'll probably do the, the connector as well. And I'll, I'll deal with that later. Uh, let's just grab under those 
and go finish off this pipe here. Now, normally I would not have done that because turrets have this bad habit. You see, turrets, by default, unless they've fixed this, will target neutrals. Which means that if you've built something and you haven't already claimed it as owner, it will try and shoot it. Now, there is a bug where it will try to shoot through its own station that was supposedly fixed in this version. I'm, I'm not going to test it out. For now, we're going to take a look. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I don't actually have any ammo, so let's go ahead and make one. And we should now have magnesium, because I went and mined a bunch. And in theory, it should appear here. Look at that. Cool. So that just pulled all the way through from my assemblers over there, through the connector, through the ship, and over to here. So this Gatling turret, if meteors were turned on, would target meteors. And luckily, turning off targeting neutrals kept it from attacking anything that it shouldn't be. <laughs> All right. And now the inventory should be empty. Yeah, it's still got bullets in it, but it's, they've been loaded. And there's no way to see how many you've got. Um, there's also, I don't know why, it doesn't have target missiles turned on by default, but it does have target neutrals. How often do you want to target a neutral? I mean, dogs, I believe, are considered neutrals, which doesn't make any sense considering they attack you on sight. That's not very neutral, in my opinion. Uh, all right. So we should find the other one right here, right? Yes. Apparently I had uh, this filled in a little tighter. That's okay. And let's do that. Since I'm, uh, of course, I don't have a small steel tube. Of course. Can I get to... No, I can't. Of course I can't. It's never as simple as you think it's going to be. Let's go ahead and put this in. And then we'll let the welding ship handle that. All right. Welding ship, don't kill me. I've started actually being really careful about how I get in the welding ship. Get in from the back so that it doesn't... Like, it's become very dangerous, this welding ship. I hope they've increased the range. We should test that out. Because you, you'd have to actually, like, really touch things in order to weld things up before. Let's see if they've increased the range. Hopefully... Nope. They have pretty much... Well, no, no, no. That is definitely... That is definitely more range than it used to be. Okay. That's nice. That's very nice. Okay, so they made it more dangerous, but they have also... Okay, I need small steel tubes. But they have also increased the range, it looks like. I'm happy about that quite happy. There we go. All right. And then let's make sure that this one has the target neutrals turned off. Yes. And Gatling turret. I'm just going to call this one L and this one R so that I remember which is which. We'll probably have to get a little more detailed because we have a lot of other places. I mean, those two aren't going to be enough. I mean, if we have some pirates coming at us from the bottom, then, well, we're going to have problems, aren't we? Not to mention that we're pretty much un, like, uh, protected. Like, there's not even really much in the way of armor down here, so that's a problem, too. Hmm... We should find a place down here to put one. You know. I wonder if I could get away with that. Hang on, let's see. Does this stick out or is that? No, that's right there. 
Let's see if this would work. Apparently, I was full. Okay. Uh, we need to put in one of these guys. Hmm, yeah. Hey, look, I'm out of construction components. Cool. Um, yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. That does work. Nice. They need a really large area around them, but I know that um, thrusters, not only do they, I believe, only break blocks in the center, but um, but they tend to only break, as far as I can tell, only break things that are like physically in that space. Even though this cannot, you know, it takes up the space next to it, it... Um, there's no hitbox there. You can, you know, I can still walk, go through this space, and I believe that thrusters. So there shouldn't be any damage, is what I'm saying. The the thrusters are not going to damage this, I think. So that's actually not too bad. So then I've gonna ha I'm gonna have one on the top and one on the bottom, on each side, for the two pylons, and then I wouldn't mind having another one, say, up on top up here. One near the bridge would probably be a good idea. Maybe underneath the bridge. How would I get it there, though? Oh, I know how. Uh, I could probably have two under if I... Eh. No, that gets pretty tight, doesn't it? I'd end up rubbing it on the ground every time I landed. Hmm. Well... Give me your ideas. Where do you think I should have more turrets? I mean, are these four going to be enough? That one, that one down there, and then the other two. And, of course, the back will have more. Um, so that out in space, we're not, you know, we don't have to worry about pirates. And then these two, are they going to be enough for, um, for incoming meteors? I don't know. That's a good question. I want to hear... I want to hear what you have to say. Okay, let me uh, let me go park this thing again. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call it here because if this if this recording actually functioned right this time, I'm gonna post it and pretend that never happened. <laughs> not the not the episode. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, I just have had such a hard time actually getting this thing recorded that I am done with it. I want to get on to the next episode. Oh, no! Oh, okay. That was a little closer than I wanted it to be. Okay, okay. That was... I must... Okay, it must be on the other side. Yeah, okay. It's got to be on the other side. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that scared me. Okay. Anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and uh, and I didn't whine too much about my recording problems. Ah, uh, the problems of a YouTuber. Um, so <laughs> if uh, if you liked the episode, hit the uh, the thumbs up, and you know if you have any suggestions or or you hated the episode, hit that thumbs down. If you have some suggestions but still enjoyed it, still hit the thumbs up, but make sure and put in those comments, you know? I mean, tell me what you think. If you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to. I would love it. Those subscribers and those thumbs up really do help me um, and help get the word out to others. And yeah, I guess that's about it for this episode. I will see you next time on Epic Tech.